Hello, I'm going to show you how I use RDS Spy with HDSDR. There are other ways of doing this, but they seem very convoluted. Here's a very simple method. Right, I've loaded in a file ready. And I'll click play. And we have to go to FM and you'll see the bandwidth is very narrow we've got to change the bandwidth here it's on 24 when you start unfortunately HDSDR doesn't remember the settings whenever you open a new file it goes back to a default setting you have to click on this one 192,000 and you see immediately that's widened then you close it down Bandwidth's probably a bit narrow there. Okay, you can see RDS Spy is working. You can't hear anything at the moment because I'm using the microphone, but I'll show you what to do to get the sound at home. First of all, let's just check what we've done is the sound card I've selected line one virtual audio cable I've got two virtual audio cables I've set up RDS spy for line one I only use one virtual audio cable other people seem to use two so that's set up there if I go to select RDS source here so it's important your sound card must support 192 kilohertz sampling rate for recording otherwise no rds decoding will take place so you have to select the source here direct rds mpx 192 kilohertz then the input audio device there so i had the output over here for line one that's selected check on the mixer take a moment okay we don't seem to be getting much level there but it's still working let's just check the properties level that's why because it's right down there then go to advance you see there's a drop down menu i've got a a 192 kilohertz sound card in my laptop most modern laptops seem to have them there 16 bit 192 kilohertz so that 192000 hertz which is the same 192 kilohertz if you've not selected already you have to click apply then okay right the playback that doesn't seem to matter that's set as default. Not sure why there's no level there. Okay. Cancel. But there's there's plenty getting through, so don't worry about that. So this is where you adjust the bandwidth in HDSDR. And click on FM to get that to appear and remember we've set up this means we've set up FMY if you've got a mixture of FM wide and FM narrow in your IQ file or you're tuning around live with your device you'll have to go to that one for narrow FM and put it back on that one for wide Don't this this one I'm playing back a file and it's fixed to the the eight megahertz here because it's a an SDR play file. Okay, there we are. In HDSDR, 
once you set up sending the the sound output the line one back to this RDS spy you'll obviously want to be able to listen to it you can't listen to it so you need this audio repeater it's in the same folder as the virtual audio cable I use audio repeater MME other instructions say use KS but this works for me the default selects Microsoft sound mapper I change that to the virtual audio cable I'm using which was line one then the wave out select your speakers or headphones whatever's in the drop down this says 44.1 kilohertz no need to change that this is just for listening not RDS spy is working fine and start now I can hear this but you probably won't because the screen grabber only allows me to use the microphone so you'll see there's some levels here the wave in wave out that's working and that's all there is to it